Hey there, it's Dan from RDP Arena. In this video, I'll show you how to secure your RDP login using Google's two-factor authentication. If you're serious about keeping your RDP server safe from unauthorized logins and hackers, this is the perfect solution for you. Before we get started, make sure you have a working Android or iOS device with the Google Authenticator app installed. I have left the download link in the description for your convenience. You'll also need admin privileges on your RDP. If you don't have these, this method won't work. Now with that being said, let's dive in. The first step is to download and install Rohos on your Windows RDP. Open your RDP browser and go to google.com. In the search bar, type Rohos Download and press Enter. Click on the first link you see in the search results. Once the page loads, click the blue Download Now button to start downloading the installer. Now, I won't walk you through the entire installation process. It's super simple. I've already installed Rohos on this RDP, so we're skipping ahead to the good stuff. Once it's installed, double-click the Rohos icon on your desktop to launch the program. When the program opens, click on Options at the top. In the Options window, choose Google Authenticator OTP as the authentication method and hit OK. Next, click on the Setup OTP Token option. Near the Google Authenticator TOTP option, select Display QR Code. You'll see a QR code pop up on your screen. Grab your phone and open the Google Authenticator app. Tap the plus sign, choose, scan a QR code, and use your phone to scan the QR code on your screen. Once the QR is scanned successfully, you'll see a series of numbers appear in the app. These numbers will be your key to logging into your RDP in the future. Next, go back to Rohos and click Set Up OTP Token at the bottom to save your changes. You'll get a confirmation that the authentication key has been successfully configured. Click OK to continue. Now, let's make sure you're covered in case you ever lose access to your Authenticator app. Click on Learn More at the top to set up emergency login options. This is super important because if something happens to your phone, the answers to these questions will let you regain access to your RDP. Select your questions, type in the answers, and click OK. You'll get a confirmation message letting you know that the emergency login is all set up. Click OK to move on. Next, click the Options setting. In the second drop-down menu, select For Any User and click OK. This step ensures that two-factor authentication is enabled for everyone logging into your RDP. The final step is to restart your RDP. While we wait for the RDP to restart, I've got some exciting news for you. We're currently running a special sale with 20% off on all RDP slots. Simply use the code you see on your screen during checkout to grab your discount. If you've been thinking about upgrading your RDP plan or trying out one of our premium servers, this is the perfect chance for you to get started. Don't wait too long though, 
Stocks are limited, and this sale won't be around forever. Now, let's get back to the video. The restart is now complete, and here we are at the login screen. You'll see it's now asking for the six-digit code from the Google Authenticator app. Go ahead and open the app on your phone, grab the code, and enter it here. And just like that, you're logged in. That's it for today's video. With this simple two-factor authentication method, you've added an extra layer of protection to your RDP, keeping it safe from unauthorized access. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a like, subscribing to our channel, and hitting the bell icon for future notifications. In case you have any questions or need further assistance, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. We'll do our best to help you out.